Hello everyone, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and whether you're an experienced artisan or you're just getting started, I hope you'll find something to inspire your leather craft at Fisher Workshops. I'd also like to invite you to help us to reach new audiences with this timeless art by simply liking and sharing our videos. To subscribe to our channel, just click on the subscription button below, and please feel free to leave your comments and questions, as well as what you'd like to see us make in future videos, in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Before cutting the leather for your belt, first measure your wrist to make sure the strip is long enough. I'm using vegetable tan leather that is about 9 ounces thick, although between 5 to 9 ounces should work just as good. To cut a perfect circle for my tag, I'm going to use an Olfa circular cutter to make a 5.2 cm wide circle. Cut from the rough side of the leather so the surface isn't damaged by the cutter's point. For the belt loop, cut a piece of 2.5 ounce leather 5 millimeters wide and 7 centimeters long. With an applicator, apply a little backside finish to the rough side of the leather and polish with a burnishing glass or wood slicker. Repeat this process for the belt. I'm using a template to measure where holes should first be punched on my tag. Mark a line across the top and bottom of the circles and cut out with a sharp knife. If necessary, sand any rough or uneven edges with a sanding stick. For burnishing narrow areas like this, apply burnishing gum or water with a Q-tip. Round the belt tip with a chisel or template. Make a buckle slot with a chisel or with the template provided on my website. Punch holes for the rivets. Using an edge beveler, bevel the edges of the front and back.
Apply a little edging gum and burnish till smooth with a wood slicker. For additional shine, you can apply a little Columbus wax to the edges and polish with a piece of canvas or cloth. I'm pinching my cloth around a slicker, which I think makes it easier to buff. Now bevel the front and back of the tag and burnish. Cut the belt loop to the required link and skive the ends. Apply glue and fix together. Punch two stitching holes and stitch ends together. Apply contact cement to the buckle end, attach the loop, then fix together and set rivets. This luggage tag slash bracelet is a simple but great gift idea to give someone embarking on a journey. To convert the tag into a bracelet, just simply remove the tag and fit to your wrist. Now I find 